Hi, welcome to Simple, Easy, and Fun Cooking with Felicia, where I believe that cooking should be simple, it should be easy, and it definitely should be fun. I'm so glad you tuned in today. Guess what we're making? We're making Pineapple Dole Whip. Yes, I said it, Pineapple Dole Whip. I'm so excited about it. If you ever heard of that before, I know you are excited. Well, the first thing we need to do is wash our hands, for we know the importance of washing our hands, so we won't pass no germs onto ourselves, and so we definitely won't pass it to others. After that, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you once again for all this beautiful food that you love on this earth. We ask you to sanctify and purify for the nutrition of our body, and we give you all the praise and all the glory. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, guys, I am so excited. Well, as you see, summer is ending. And school has started, and and before all that just get into winter, I thought it would be nice to make a nice, tropical, wonderful drink that we could have. So I'm ready to get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your local grocery store, and you want to um, get a nice pineapple. There's so many nice pineapples at your local grocery store, a nice pineapple. After that, guys... I don't know if any of you have a pineapple cutter or not, but if you do not have one, you could just use your um, knife at home. It's just going to take a little bit more work. And you want to get you a nice pineapple, and you're going to start off by cutting off the top of the pineapple. You'll lay it down. You'll cut it off at the top. And if you have, if you have that nice pineapple tool, you could be able to put this, put the, tool in there and take it straight out if not it's going to take a little bit work for you to get it out of there but you can get it out of there guys okay once you do that once you see that your pineapple is empty i'm using this as a pineapple cup now when you make this recipe you don't need a pineapple um you don't have to make a pineapple cup this is something extra that i'm doing to make it fun you could just eat your um, pineapple dough whip just like that okay so once we we done that guys you're going to need a blender yes I said it a blender in that blender you're gonna add now remember with this um, recipe you can increase the ingredients or you could decrease it depending on how many people you are making it for I'm just making it for me so we're gonna need about one cup of vanilla ice cream and I have that here one cup of vanilla ice cream and guys use whatever vanilla ice cream you like just get one cup of vanilla ice cream you're going to put that in your blender as so and you're gonna need two cups of frozen um, chunk pineapples two cups of frozen chunk pineapples now if you do not um sometimes it's hard to find the frozen chunk pineapples in your local grocery store so what you can do guys you can buy the can of chunk pineapples and you could take the pineapples out and freeze them and they'll be just as good so we have here two cups of chunk pineapples and we're going to add that to our blender after that, guys, you're going to add your liquid. You're going to add two tablespoons of lime juice. Now, either you get a lime and squeeze it out. That's even much better. But sometimes you need a lot of lime just to get two tablespoons. Or you could just buy the lime juice already in the bottle. And you want to pour that in there. After that, you're going to need two tablespoons of lemon juice. Now, guys, once again, ooh, I spilled a little bit of it. Once again... Either you cut, um, squeeze the lemon out yourself or let me put a little bit more in here. Or you could um, just go to your local grocery store and get it already in a concentrated. And we're going to add that to here. And then, guys, you're going to need a half a cup of pineapple juice. Um, if you end up buying the can of chunk pineapples you could just use the juice in there you just need a half a cup guys and then you're going to add your sugar guys let's add that sugar okay then you want to nicely blend all that up so let's put that back on there And you want to get to a nice consistency that you like. 
And guys, we're going to put it to the side. Now, normally what you'll do is take this, pour this in a Ziploc bag and refreeze it and then eat it. But what I'm going to do, if you like how the consistency of this is, you could take your pineapple cup and you can, guys, nicely, guys, just, yeah, nicely pour it in here. Ooh, look at that. And guess what? I have a little extra left for the kiddos. And then, guys, what makes it even nicer is take some of them leftover pineapples. Let me get another. Let me get another ring. We're gonna take some of them leftover pineapples, and you're gonna put it like that. Doesn't that look nice? Guys, and you're going to add your straw. And let's take us a thumbnail and let us drink. Okay, guys. Woo! You're my guest. You get the first drink. Doesn't that look pretty? You also got to add an umbrella to the side. This is a nice refreshment, refresh drink for the end of the summer. Okay, guys, let us try. Mmm. Oh, I could taste some nice frozen pineapple. Mmm. Guys, if you have a spoon, make sure you get a thick enough straw. Mmm. So good. Mmm. If you love vanilla ice cream and you love pineapple, this is a drink for you. Well, thank you once again for tuning in to Simple, Easy, and Fun Cooking with Felicia, where I believe that cooking should be simple, it should be easy, and it definitely should be fun. Until next time, bye! Be blessed!